What's up guys? Uh, I thought about doing the kind of a new little series. I've got my hair cut at different places before, but uh, you know, there's a lot of really neat places around the area, and uh, I think I've found one of my favorite ones right here. I go by it all the time, and I've gotten my hair cut over the years, but uh, Little Jim's Barbershop is kind of a staple to Carrollton. You can't miss it right across from the courthouse, and uh, under some new, new ownership, there's some familiar faces in here, and I'll, I'll see some new ones, but uh, Mr. Seth Ball, how are you doing, buddy? Always good to see you. Yes, yes sir. So, uh, last haircut I got in here, uh, maybe a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. How long has this been uh, part of what you're doing? You, you kind of came in here when? I bought the shop from John in uh, September of 18. Okay. Uh, John had his family had owned the shop since 1930, 32, I believe. Wow, so they started again. Yes, it's been, and they're actually, the, we're actually the oldest barber shop in the state of Georgia. We've been here since 1895. Wow. So, okay. a lot, lot of history. Uh, mm -hmm. just a, this is a museum of of the whole town. I mean, we've got stuff in here that people have given us over the last several decades. So. Kind of a museum of people, too. It is. All it the is. folks that come in and out, I've never seen it like not as not as crazy. Usually it's like a line on the bench, but it's always fantastic. And it's good today. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a little rainy outside, right? It is nice. I, I love all the stuff. You know, you've got all the, the beer heads, you got the, the snake skin, pretty, all this, and everything's got a story behind it. It really does. Nice. And it does. a lot of that stuff was kind of here. You just kind of left it pretty much as it was for the most part. We did. Uh, John uh, tried to redo the shop back in 92. They repainted it. Some stuff, and it was met with such uproar that uh, everybody, all the customers, wanted it to be original, kind of like the old uh, shop that was down the hill. Okay. So there's a lot of a lot to be said about the, the that some things never change that type of deal. So oh, yeah. So what makes your your barbershop different from other places? Well, we're a we're a full. Uh, yeah, man. We go we go with this, man. Listen, uh, I, we just, we're just having a conversation about yeah. it. I know that. Uh, you know, a couple of things I know is different. It's like this right here, I mean, you got the, 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 the strap here keeping your, your blade sharp. You still use this, right? Yes, sir, we do. Y'all use a straight razor? We use a straight razor. We're a full service barber shop. Uh -huh. uh, straight razor shaves, neck shaves. Uh, I tell people all the time, there's some doors made for men to walk through. Ours is one of them. Gotcha. So that's that's kind of a lost art. You're not giving turns and stuff. No, so we don't do that. But <laughs> that's kind of a lost art in the days, you know, everybody wants to do the, the salon stuff or whatever. And, and, and a lot of people have moved back to the barber shop over the last 10, 15, 20 years. So it's, it's business that's really, it's, it's stood the test of time. You know, we, we made it through the, the Great Depression. We made it through so many different things. We made it through the COVID pandemic. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good business. It's a good staple uh, of, of people. Right, well, people are going to get their hair cut, and, and just kind of like people are not going to live outside, they're going to have some kind of house. That's right. That's kind of, I think we're in a stable business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hope, right. hope. Well, we do all we can to keep it going. That's right. So I'm, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Check me out if you want anybody else. Right. What you guys got going on today? Man, video day like we do every month. You've probably seen some more stuff here or there. And we, we've uh, been trying to get together and do a video for a while. And the light is finally working out. It's always neat to get to see people kind of uh, in their own element and also outside of the element a little bit. We got a chance to hang out this past Saturday night. Um, uh, you guys all know we do the Shop with Cop program. And, uh, which is always a great event. Oh, we yeah. Such, got, we say it's such a fun so They do, Angela LeBlanc and those guys, they do such a great job. Absolutely, and uh, these guys are big sponsors of, of that. And uh, you know, it's, it's businesses like this that support the community, and make these things happen. So that's why we kind of like to show off why is it great to live and work in our area, and uh, you know, kind of uh, you know, give a chance to experience some of that. So uh, you know, a lot of a lot of you guys maybe never gone in and actually have the straight razor uh, on there. I, I really, I think it's one of the best best things about it. That's why obviously I'm, I'm, I'm coming right back. So. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of different uh, ways of looking at it. Like the salon stuff's good, um, you know, but uh, I think that you know, there's a different place for everybody, and uh, to find what, what works best for you.